Hi, my name is Elias Logan. I'm a dealer of authentic ancient Greek, Roman, Biblical, Byzantine coins and antiquities. I'm also a very big numismatic expert. I run a website called trustedcoins.com where I have available for sale over 6,700 items at the time of this filmmaking. Every item I come, every item I sell, comes with a certificate of authenticity. Of course, a lifetime guarantee of authenticity. My signature, I've identified over 28,000 authentic ancient coins and artifacts over the years. And the coin in a, a professional flip display, uh, you could call it a display case that you could ca carry on with you. Take this part off, put it in your wallet, show it to your friends. And um, over here you have the professional description that cites many times a major reference or collection. And on the back you have the historical context of the item you purchased. So, let me tell you the benefits of owning this. I believe that this makes the best gift because it's very thoughtful. There's just so many different varieties to pick from. And also, I believe it's a great investment because if you preserve this with a certificate of authenticity, you have a beautifully documented coin that will preserve value to the best of my belief and actually increase in value over time. So thank you very much for visiting my site, trustedcoins.com. Today I'm going to be reading the biography of Roman Emperor Carus. This is what Carus looked like. I have many coins of Carus in my store, so you might want to check that out. Carus was Roman Emperor from 282 to 283 AD. During his short reign, Carus fought the Germanic tribes and the Sarmatians along the Danube frontier with success. During his campaign against the Sassanid Empire, he sacked their capital, Ctesiphon, but died shortly thereafter. He was succeeded by his sons, Carinus and Numerian, creating a dynasty which, though short-lived, granted further stability to a resurgent empire. Carus was born at Narbo in Gaul, but was educated at Rome. He was a senator and had filled various civil and military posts before he, he was appointed prefect of the Praetorian Guard by the Emperor Probus in 282 AD. After the murder of Probus at Sirmium, Carus was proclaimed emperor by the soldiers. Although Carus severely avenged uh, the death of Probus, he was himself suspected of having been an accessory to the deed. He does not seem to have returned to Rome after his accession, but contented himself with an announcement of the fact to the Senate. Bestowing the title of Caesar upon his sons Carinus and Numerian, he left Carinus in charge of the western portion of the empire and took Numerian with him on an expedition against the Persians, which had, which had been contemplated by Probus. Having defeated the Quadi and the Samartians and the Danubi, for which he was given the title Germanicus Maximus, Carus proceeded through Thrace and Asia Minor, annexed Mesopotamia, pressed onto the Seleucid, Seleucia and Ctesiphon, and marched his soldiers beyond the Tigris. The Sassanid king Bahram II, limited by internal oppositions, could not effectively defend his territory. For his victories, which avenged all the previous defeats suffered by the Romans against the Sassanids, Carus received the title of Persicus Maximus. Carus' hopes of further conquest were cut short by his death. One day after a violent storm, it was announced that he was dead. His death was variously attributed to disease, the effects of lightning, or a wound received in the campaign against the Persians. The fact that he was leading a victorious campaign and that his son Numerian succeeded him without opposition suggests that his death may have been due to natural causes. So thank you very much for visiting my site trustedcoins.com to find many authentic ancient coins and learn their history. Thank you.